Hey YouTube, it's Dimitri. Today we're gonna to talk about some tips for interning here. So yes, big disclaimer at the beginning, I am not hiring any interns. I've mentioned this in past videos, um, but I have had interns in the past and worked alongside them, uh, more from a colleague perspective than anything. But I have also been in a management role and I can tell you the ones that we do hire and don't hire because often managers will come to me and say, Dimitri, we had five interns for the year. Which one would you hire and why? So the first point is going to be um, go to all these social events. I know these seem ridiculous. Uh, not every firm will have these, but I have been at events where it's like, you know, you're invited to a coffee uh, or there's like a intern get together kickoff thing or an intern dinner thing and it's all cutesy and whatever. And you're like, I'm a quant. I don't want to go meet with other interns or meet with random people. I just want to show up and do my job and go home. Um, but part of the internship experience. So this is just like university here. Uh, a lot of what you are Gaining from this is going to actually be the experience of networking and talking to people and getting to know them. Um, this gives you the opportunity to figure the firm out. So a lot of people, you know, say, oh, Dimitri, I want to work for, I don't know, this firm or that firm. Well, if you go and intern for them, you'll find out often they're not the firm you thought they were. So internships is a great time to actually learn about the firm more. Um, when you go out to dinner, you go out to coffee, things tend to be a little bit more relaxed because you're not in the office. Uh, you'll tend to get more honest answers and discussions um, from actual employees that work there. Um, the other piece with this is going to be going out just to network and to learn people. And um, right, you might only have short stents on little tiny projects, or you might have one project where you're only working with one or two people. Um, going out to these internships is going to allow you to meet other people and why this is important. Uh, I have seen interns that have done yeah, mediocre at best, uh, with the manager they were on the project with. Now, I was not a fan of the person on the project, the manager. I didn't think they were a great person. Um, they're not making the call often if they're going to keep the intern or not, which sometimes that's the only opportunity they have, the company has, is to get their opinion. Now, when you go to events like this and you click with someone else at the event, so you click with me, for example, and we chat, and we have a good time, and I ask you about your jobs, your careers, your hobbies, your life, and I start to really get to know you over this three-week period, um, even though I'm not working with you on this project, I could be the one that says, hey, this guy is a great person or this gal is a great lady. Uh, we need to have them on our team. So this is going to be a five-star hire. Make sure you make the hire. So again, that networking, going to these events, I know, I know it's not always the most fun, um, but try to put your best foot forward. Um, try to really lean into these opportunities and you know participate in the social aspect of an internship. Now, the second piece is going to be learn to grind. Um, even if it is not the culture of the firm, this is the one rare opportunity you're going to have as a student. Uh, as soon as you're out the door and going, uh, you're not going to be able to get a lot of access to the data, the people, the information, the projects. Like You're going to really need to dive deep on this. So when you're in these projects, make sure to dive deep, lean into this, really move and shake and work hard. Uh, I've seen a lot of interns where the culture at the firm was very laid back and they came and they joked and they did all the social events. So they took advantage of that, but then they kind of coasted and they didn't do a lot of extra work on the project. So one, you're going to get graded on your project that you're assigned to. Uh, and two, you're going to get um, graded more or less on the extra work you do. So in a real quant firm, you're going to get assigned work. You need to do extra. So if you're not, you know, if you're not busy, you have some free time, you have something else, learn on your own, do something productive. Don't just sit around playing games on your phone, which I see many people doing this. Um, really go in and get more education, more learning. So we had two interns at one job. One PhD student, very bright, was not coming back. She had to finish her PhD in another year or two. She was awesome. Uh, and then we had a second one. And she was mediocre, but she was always just sitting around, hanging out, and I'd talk to her and, you know, socializing. But she was not moving and shaking. She was not uh, taking on extra projects. And this was an awesome time. We had access to SAS. You don't have access to SAS in school. Uh, you have access to documentations at firms. So go talk to people, learn about their projects, uh, read the information and gain more insight from that. And worst case scenario, be like me. And yes, firms hate me for doing this sometimes. Uh, pick up some sort of book, some sort of textbook. 
uh, econometrics or uh, stats or modeling or something and read a book while you're there. Do something of value with your life. Quit wasting it on your phone. Uh, that's going to be the second tip here. And then the third tip is going to be realizing what an intern is and what an intern does. Uh, often you have high expectations for these firms, but you have to realize um, you're only going to get assigned a very small project, uh, a really small mundane project, typically dumbed down quite a bit because you're an intern. Um, so you're gonna have something easy, simple to do, or you might get a new exploratory project and you're gonna have no idea what's going on. The firm probably doesn't have the time to put good resources on it. It's an exploration to see if it has any merit. It's up to you to figure it out here. Um, realizing this, I think will make the internship more valuable and will help you kind of lean in a little more in tip two because what's gonna happen is you're gonna realize this is an internship, it's not a full-time job. You will judge the firm more appropriately. Now, if you somehow think the firms are dumb and they're lazy and they're not doing good intellectual interesting work, that could be possible. Uh, or it could be because you're an intern and you have a simpler project or task to do here. So try to take that in perspective as well. But those are my three main tips. Again, it's that socializing. It's gonna be that leaning in and really taking on extra projects and work, really work hard, because that's what they're gonna judge you on. And then finally here, uh, it's gonna be realizing the perspective of these projects. They're not gonna be great and wonderful, um, but you should be digging deep, coming up with issues, problems, hurdles, and listing those on the resume because I wanna see as a hiring manager in the future the problems you had and how you solve them. So thanks for listening, thanks for watching, and as always, until next time. Thanks.